It's one of the most decorated regiments in Canadian military history, celebrating a century of service. That service filled with epic battles and colorful characters, and a flag called the Rickadam Do. They are Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, and this is their story. Among the last of our soldiers to pull out of Afghanistan and the first Canadian troops in the trenches in World War I, the PPCLI has a reputation of taking charge and getting the job done. But to really understand the Patricias, we have to go back to their rather unusual start and to this man, the founding father of the regiment. World War I in 1915, and soldiers from Canada march into battle. The original members of Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry. Here because of a man named Andrew Hamilton Galt. This Boer War vet known to the battalion as Hammy was a Montreal multi-millionaire and heir to a textile empire. Convinced Canada needed to help Britain, Galt put up $100,000 of his own money, equivalent to $2 million by today's standards, to train and outfit the regiment himself. The PPCLI would be the last privately funded unit of its kind in the Commonwealth. In just 10 days, Galt was able to recruit more than 1,000 men, thanks in part to the popularity of its namesake. 28-year-old Princess Patricia of Connaught, the daughter of the Governor General of the day and a buddy of Hammy's. Andrew Hamilton Galt was wounded three times in battle, and despite losing a leg, he refused to be shipped home, serving until the end of the war. He remained involved with the regiment he founded until the day he died in 1958. This is the Rickadam Do, hand-stitched by the princess herself. Carried into battle in the Great War, now bullet-riddled and faded with time, it's the Pat's most sacred object. The granddaughter of Queen Victoria, Princess Patricia took her duties as Colonel-in-Chief seriously. Over the war years, she would frequently inspect the regiment, and that affection was returned. PPCLI soldiers were even on hand to march at her wedding. No one knows how the Rickadam Do got its name, but it's thought to be based on the Gaelic phrase, Cloth of Our Mother. 